Wow, the studio needs a bit of work. So it's middle of the week, Thursday. Well, I suppose this is kind of towards the end of the week, so it's a little bit better than the complete middle of the week. I decided it's a good day to clean up this place. I know I'm always like trying to keep it clean and stuff, but we're always shooting stuff in here and making sure that the place is used. Uh, and one of the things that I want to do today is I've been wanting to install this Ryzen 7, guys, inside my PC. It's taking me a long time to get to it. I've always been nervous. I put my PC together with a mate trucks at my one of my first original PCs. Putting a, a CPU in is no joke, guys. It honestly had nearly had a heart attack. I mean, these things are like a couple of grand, and you put this thing on with a put of glue and you crunch it into the into the motherboard. It is. It can be. It can be scary, but I think practice makes perfect. The more you do it, the better. I will end up with a better CPU in my PC. I have an AMD Ryzen 5 right now. I'm not too sure. So I think it's time for a bit of an upgrade. And what better day to do it than today? Look at the weather in Cape Town. It is shocking. It is pouring with rain. The wind is southeasters. I just gotta get inside. Yeah, one of the things I can't wait to get uh, this week is, I don't know if it's gonna arrive, but I ordered a, a ladder and a pull bar. I gotta get some exercise. And the ladder will help me fix what's happening up here look at that all that space need is like unoccupied and we've got a lot of stuff that needs to be in. I've got like the PS3 and the PS2 for display. It's all gotta look good. And one of the ways to make it look good is to make sure that it's uh, it's out off the floor, off these desks, and uh, in, a, in a, a proper place upstairs. So I'm very excited about that. Um, I just hope it arrives this week because this place will look like a thousand times better. If not, whatever. I'm pretty happy with uh, with waiting uh, until Monday. I've got to probably chill out this weekend a bit too. It's been pretty hectic. This whole studio needs some form of revamp. I need to make sure, oh, yeah, guys, there's so much work that needs to be done. A lot of this, this, the real estate on that desk is taken up by screens with bases. This screen has got like a pretty big base, and that screen over there is like on a stand. It shouldn't be on a stand. I know there's this space underneath it, but that space is pretty much unusable. It's kind of just storage space. I need to make sure that this place is clean. We're getting the Aero 15, and that's it's gonna be replace the Mac over there that I have up to read my chat. A lot of work needs to be done. A lot of work needs to be done, and that takes time, energy, and coffee. But I'm gonna skip on the coffee now because I'll make some a bit later. You know, I've already I've already woken up for some coffee. Let's uh let's get into this PC. My baby, my baby. So this is my baby. You guys haven't actually seen this guy yet. I bought this in London from PC Specialist while I was there. No brand deals, no, nothing. It was just convenient and the side menus them, so, you know. There's a Ryzen 5 inside, so we're just gonna get this up. So the reason I got a discreet case like this is that it's soundproof, it's got soundproofing in it, and I'll show you a little bit more about that when we get inside. A couple of things you need before you start. Surgical spirits, uh, alcohol. Apparently, it's just nearly a pure alcohol. Don't use anything else. Uh, there's a lot of people putting like Coke on their CPU and stuff. Uh, don't, don't do that. It's so that you clean up, clean up the old th thermo paste of the thing that you are removing. You need your old thermal paste and new stuff. Here it is, thanks to Cooler Master, who this to me. And uh, toilet paper, ready old toilet paper, just to, to wipe it all up. Uh, let's uh, pray this goes well, guys. Just uh, <laughs> let's, let's hope it does its trick. All right, let's get into this bad boy. Unscrew your screws so that... And don't lose them, like that. Uh, from the panel, where's the panel that I'm going to open? It's actually this side. No, that's this side. You don't have to open up both panels, depending on your box. You just have to open up the panel that's, that gives you the most access to the hardware. Ta-da! That's the inside of my box! I like, I like a slick black, like, internals. Can you see, here's the soundproofing board. On the inside, this is why I've got this particular chassis. I'm considering building a new PC, by the way, that's just crazy RGB, we stick it on the desk. I know I was complaining about desk real estate earlier, but that would be pretty boring. Let's turn this baby upside down. This is gonna be a hard thing to present and do, so let's have a closer look at this guy. I need screws to unscrew this, unscrew the fan. This is the heatsink, guys, it's the fan and the heatsink, so this keeps, there we go, this keeps us cool. Lefty Lucy tidy righty, guys. Uh, another thing you should do is unplug cooler first because we're going to remove this whole thing so it's usually plugged into the motherboard somewhere right so we remove the cooler as you can see there's some of the old existing thermal paste um, and there is our Ryzen 5 chip it's covered in thermal paste but we need to get this guy out this is pretty easy to do they've got a lever for you to do it but one of the things that I've been recommended to do is to clean the processor while it's here uh, so that I can just uh, it's, it's locked down in one place without damaging any of the pins 
Okay, that's good. One of the reasons you actually use alcohol to do this is that you want it to evaporate a lot quicker than having any other product there as well. So this is, it's dry, immediately dry. That thermal paste came off super quickly. Now to do the fan and make sure that you don't like have thermal paste like, like spread out everywhere. I've already dropped a piece of thermal paste into the motherboard somewhere. Computer's off and remember to do that also before you start. I'll remove that uh, piece of thermal paste uh, inside the machine that's just got lost. Thermal paste successfully removed. That was dangerous because thermal paste is conductive and there are a lot of pins down there. Microscopic pins in some cases, like you don't want to have anything conductive to letting those pins touch each other when they're not meant to be. Get a professional to do this, but if you are just messing around, you've got you've got the money or you've got a kid to do this, this is, this is a lot of fun. Okay, let's get this, uh, let's get the CPU out of the way. One thing I recommend here is make sure you've got your box for your old one ready to go because you can have a place to store this. All right, so this arm over here is the thing that lifts the the CPU out of its cradle. I don't know if you can see it. Um, I'm just gonna pull it up quick. There we go. Thousands of rand just loosened itself. So we just have to make sure that it just falls gently out. Look at that. Okay, can't drop this. <laughs> It's the Ryzen 5, bring it into the old container. So I put the Ryzen 5 into the old container. So this is the, what it usually comes with and I got my Ryzen 7 here. So let's put this baby inside. We've got to make sure that this lines up. You don't want to mess this guy up. And the way that they do it is there's a triangle on the side over here and a triangle on the side over there. Like, like they, they match up. And then what you do is you just have to just gently lower it in fits in perfectly. If it doesn't fit in perfectly, there's a problem. Then we'll just, there we go, cradles locked it in. Oh, 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 it worked, it worked. All right, so now if you haven't yet, uh, now's a good time to clean the thermal paste off of the fan that was in, and we're gonna have to put thermal paste on top of the CPU. That's the next, like, scary part. It's, it's less scary than what we've just done. I'm glad we got through the tough parts. Guys, oh, I stress out. I think a lot of people might watch this video and be like, yo, he's overreacting. But if you are a South African, like unless you're a UFD disciple who just like, their channel is killer, you guys gotta go check it out. But they're like a South African channel that knows tech very well. And they have a lot of tech to, to build with. So unless you had like tons of experience doing this, if you are a gamer like myself who, who is building PCs from scratch, you probably don't have as much experience. And secondly, it's very expensive. That's like the most important thing. So I don't think this stuff costs a lot of money. So don't mess it up and always have an expert around you to help you out, unlike me. Here we go. Okay, let's uh, clean the, the fan. So with our towel and our tissue paper, just clean it up a bit. I don't think we need to do too much cleaning. I mean, I think some people would argue that uh, you don't clean this, um, but I just want to make sure I do it correctly as if it was brand new. It's kind of flush on it. Let's get some thermal paste onto the CPU and then get this guy down. Right, so here's our thermal paste. Comes in this handy ass syringe and it comes with a spade. <laughs> Looks like an ice cream scoop. We have to put like a rice sized amount on here. Just around the middle, nothing too intense. That looks, oh shit! Don't do that. Oh God, oh God. We don't get thermal paste all over the board. And then we can, oh shit! what the heck is this? Just make sure to do this gently. I can do it a little more, I think. This goes on once. All right, okay, you didn't see what happened in the last like half hour, but I had a bit of a scare. I got like thermal paste inside the pins. I had to remove it. Basically what was happening while I was putting the fan in is that the back plate of the f of the fan on the motherboard came loose. Uh, so, I, and I didn't realize. So I was just double checking everything. I removed everything. And then in the process of removing stuff, got thermal paste into the uh, pins of the processor drama. But uh, I found a video on uh, online on how to use a toothbrush to, to, to very carefully, very gently remove the thermal paste. I have now, what I think I've, I've done, I fixed it, I put it in. Remember when you put the fan in, make sure that you do it diagonally like you're changing the wheels of a car. I'm gonna plug this up. In fact, I'm actually gonna put this uh, XPG uh, RAM in as well. Let's boot this up and pray it works. Okay, so we're looking pretty good here. Uh, I've turned, let me just turn this around so you can see. There is what we're looking at. Uh, AMD's in, and is in, everything's on, it's locked in place. Uh, and the back plate on this side is, is now fitted. Uh, this was loose, so that's what the problem was, why can't get that on. Pray that that works. Also, another thing that might change things up, I've got some Corsair RAM inside here. So what I'm gonna do is, they're all DDR4, and here's the XPG. I don't know if they're compatible. 
apparently some can down clock to match and some do it automatically. I'm hoping the XPG does do that. If it does, then I've got 32 gigs of RAM. If it doesn't, uh, it'll just beep, it won't, won't boot up. Then we'll just remove uh, the Corsair RAM for now. Let's see what happens. Good news, boots up. Look at that sweet ass RGB. Hey, that's working up. So everything's on. This is my one problem right now. New piece CPU, so I'll just wider reset uh, FTPM. If you have bit lock or encryption enabled system, your system will not boot in without a recovery key. Press N to keep previous FTPM system boot. I don't even know what that is. I just press Y. It's booting up. It's definitely booting up. Right, this is very, very good news. We're in. It's working. Wow, I'm so excited. Let's see if this thing doesn't overheat and explode. Okay, after booting it up and having it all updated and everything, the news could not be better. It is currently AMD Ryzen 7 1800X eight core processor plus 32 gigs of RAM. Those two brands work together. I think it's because like somebody uh, said to me, um, I actually gave him a call to see if, if it would work. He said that they would clock down and I think he's right. He's from Rectro and Rene Legend. He told me that they would clock down. Uh, and I think they have done that. Wow, I'm very excited about this. I've got 32 gigs of RAM and a Ryzen 7 processor. I'm gonna get a better GPU. Look, upgrade successful. <sighs> Now it's time for that cup of coffee that I mentioned earlier. Okay, so tips. Things that I've learned from this experience. Have somebody on call that knows what they're doing if you don't know. Check out some YouTube videos beforehand just so that you can ease up uh, what you, your experience in it. Especially, uh, a lot of people said to me, rather take it to professional. Yes, I get that and I think that's important to do. But at the same time, you're not gonna learn how to build yourself. And a lot of these things are pretty easy. The Ryzen chips are different to the to the Intel ones. Those ones just kind of like drop in. The, the problem I had was having thermal paste. That was actually the hardest part, actually. I thought from my experience putting an Intel chip in, I thought the hardest part would be putting the the CPU into the replacing the CPU in the um, in the box, but that wasn't the problem actually. The problem for me was uh, was the thermal paste getting everywhere. Make sure your surface is clean, easy to use, you're focused and you're concentrating, and then learn. I suppose just go through the through the problems, like uh, try not to mess up. Uh, I learned a lot about using that toothbrush as a way to to, to clean the, the thermal the, the, to clean the pins, and it's working. The, the, the toothbrush clean the pins. I've got this. This video could have been broken down into two instructional videos. Firstly, I've got two sets of RAM to work together, which shouldn't, like technically, but most people will be like, no, that's crazy. And then secondly, I've got thermal paste stuck inside my, which is three videos, the thermal paste stuck inside my uh, CPU, and I got that cleaned. And then the third thing was just like literally how to change your Ryzen 5 to a Ryzen 7 CPU. So this video is kind of weird. Uh, a lot happened today in the studio. So now what I'm gonna do is, um, I am going to clean up the studio for a bit and get ready to live stream if you built your own PC, let me know in the chat below. I'm really interested to hear what your guys' experiences are. I'm really keen to do this more. I think we've got a cool little workshop here. We can build like a pretty balling machine. How cool would it be to have like a street? We've got we've got a Ryzen 5, like right here. Like we should build a new machine with it. Got some ideas, got some ideas. Anyway, I'll see you guys uh, in another video. Let me know what you think. I'll be in, in the comments chatting with you guys. High five, stranger. Cheers.